guys, it's Michelle. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tag video. I was tagged by the lovely Ketu Metsi from Leaning Into Lux. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. And also by Danny O Luxury Mommy. So I will be linking those girls' channels down at the bottom in the description. So today's tag video is about the five luxury items I would not buy. I have already done a video about the five items in Louis Vuitton that I do not recommend from a former client advisor perspective. So today is about five luxury products that I wouldn't even look at. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm very sensible when it comes to luxury. So there's really nothing that I really do indulge in. And furthermore, if I did, I just look around my house and I just have too much stuff. However, if you were going to ask what would be on my wish list and what absolutely would not, these are the five things that I look at and like, ha, huh, please do not catch me with these things I would not buy or just would not spend my hard earned money on. Now, if you want to, that is your business. I'm not making fun of you. This is just my personal taste and opinion. Do what you will, don't be offended. First on my list are these beautiful, wonderful plastic Gucci slides. Oh, how can these plastic things look luxurious? Okay, technically it's injection molded PVC. That's just a fancy wording for plastic. You might as well be wearing Crocs. Look, in the G's they even have the little holes where you can put little Croc giblets, I think they call it, the little charms. So I, I don't approve of these house slippers. Do you guys want to hear about one of the most pleasant, unpleasant customers I had ever witnessed while I worked for Vuitton? Of course you want to hear. Okay, so there was this guy, this dude, he had purchased these Louis Vuitton plastic slides and he probably had purchased them. It was a long time ago. It was like five years ago and his anger and his complaints. So he had been in the store at least three times to complain, why can you not repair my plastic slides that I had worn to death for the previous five years? He demanded these stinky slides to be repaired. And honey, you cannot fix broken plastic, okay? Just buy a new one and move on with your life. So he probably, probably at the time paid like $295 for these slides, hey, just buy a new one and move on with your life because plastic slippers cannot be repaired. Okay, anyways, he came back several times to yell at the same managers and this one manager. She was so patient. She had the patience of a saint. Well, the last time he came in, he even brought his toddler with him and the toddler was like copying his angry motions and body language. It's it was really sad and we wonder how and why there are so many angry children in the world. Well, that is why. Mr. Louis Vuitton, please repair my slides. Okay, so anyways, I know you like to hear stories, but I digress. So our manager was so patient to tolerate this guy's bull crap. But anyways, no, you cannot repair your plastic slides. How about just don't buy them to begin with? I can't imagine that these look good with any outfit. Like these are the slippers that I wear when I need to hang laundry, like go downstairs and hang laundry in my parents' backyard. So I specifically said Gucci, but I think I mean any brand, unless you're gonna buy like those Adidas ones for $30 and you're 15 years old. Anyhow, item number two, crocodile anything. Now, when I worked for Vuitton, a crocodile handbag starts at about the same price as maybe like a compact car <laughs> or it can be several vacations flying first class like it's nothing to bat an eyelash about it's like thirty-five thousand dollars in the palm of your hand literally so um that's like a little ridiculous to me i don't think i need anything that expensive but it's not just that it is the treatment of these crocodiles that i'm really icky about. Now, I don't like reptiles anyways. I don't like reptiles or lizards or snakes. I don't want them as pets. I don't like to see them. That doesn't mean I think they should be dead or treated inhumanely. Anyways, just do a Google search of crocodile farms and uh, what you will find may not be pleasant. Now, I don't care how many times these luxury brands and they will all say they raise their animals humanely. 
So do you think this crocodile is like sitting on a lawn chair, drinking an iced tea, having a picnic on the Vuitton family estate? No, they are not. <laughs> okay, so these, these luxury houses, they get their materials from other suppliers. So there's a whole supply chain all the way down the line. They outsource their animal hides from various suppliers and they do not and will not go through every piece of the supply chain to make sure that everything is humane regarding the animals, regarding the workers' conditions, or anything like that. The manufacturer gets the hides from the tannery, but before the tannery, there's a bunch of steps like the processors and all the way to the people who are raising the animals so it's more than likely that this crocodile came from a little pool that's like 8 feet by 8 feet and he's living there with like 11 other lizards. It's probably not very ideal for the crocodile. Anyways, for me, croc emboss on leather or croc emboss on leather is just fine. I do not need to be wearing a real reptile anywhere on my body. Okay, number three is designer luggage, and I touched on this in another video, the video I did about the five things not to buy from Vuitton. Now the luggage, yes, it is beautiful, but this, unfortunately, the way we travel now, luggage is meant to be thrown around. <laughs> Ironically, the roots of Louis Vuitton is travel and luggage. Trunks is what he started with. Now the innovation that Louis Vuitton brought to travel was that trunks used to be domed so that the water would slide off the top. Then he created the canvas, the famous canvas that you guys are crazy about. It is water resistant, which allowed him to make the trunks flat so that the luggage handlers could stack them. So people used to hang, handle luggage nicely, like with white gloves. Yeah, that doesn't happen anymore because if you check in your luggage, you know they're gonna toss that around. I personally, I'm not willing to pay thousands of dollars just for the luggage to be tossed around when I find that my luggage from um, TJ Maxx or Home Goods is, or Nordstrom Rack is the last place I bought luggage. It's just as good, and if something happens to break, then I'm not so torn over it. I'm more concerned about the things inside, and like I said, I would rather use that money for like the first class ticket where I am going to travel to. But of course, that's a personal decision. Some people want to spend two grand and have something like concrete in their hand to show for it, where I would just rather spend that on a travel experience of some kind of vacation and I'll have my pictures as memories. Okay, so the next item on the list, and I did touch on this before, is any custom jewelry from a fashion house. I might make an exception. I might want to purchase a pre-loved Chanel double strand necklace, the one with the pearls and the chains. I think those are really beautiful, but knowing they're not real pearls and they're not real gold, so hence I would only buy a pre-loved. Now, why not buy fashion jewelry? Because it's just fashion jewelry. It's just custom jewelry. There's nothing gold or, um, or gemstone about it. There's no real pearls. And for the prices that they require and they ask for, like you would think there are real diamonds or at least some gold plating on the pieces. For that costume jewelry, seriously, I'm happy with my Stella and Dot. If the stone falls out, I'm not gonna cry over it. My Henry Bundell or my Nordstrom pieces. For costume jewelry, I'd rather shop way lower price point. Then buying designer, the only advantage is that you're getting the logo. I, for one, am someone that just goes for the overall look and some, a little logo on my costume jewelry is not going to make a big difference. Okay, last on my list, guys, big white designer sneakers. Big white sneakers. Prada, Balenciaga, Dior, Burberry, Vuitton, everyone has these big white sneakers and they're like minimum $700. They're on your feet, so honestly, if I would rather have something in my hand or on my feet that's luxury, well, anything on your feet is close to the ground and is going to get dirty. And why so expensive? I doubt that they're so comfortable that you'll feel like you're walking on a cloud. Because quite frankly, I can find very comfortable white acute tennies and get the same look for much, much less. For example, I have my little white Nikes. I got these from Nordstrom's. I love these. 
And when I want to get them really, really light, I just pay my daughter $5 to use that magic eraser and sparkle them up. And those do it for me, but I, I would hate to spend so much money on designer white tennies that like I'm just gonna trash. Anyways, then you wouldn't even work out in them. Like, so I'm kind of, you know, if they were technologically advanced that they did something special to your feet. But um, last I checked, I don't, I don't think so. I think you're just paying for that big old logo. So those are my five that I wouldn't purchase. I'm not one to rush out and go buy luxury goods even though I talk about them all the time. I do not purchase regularly. It's a very rare occasion. But never in my life have I been accused of looking cheap or not fashionable. <laughs> so there are a lot of things that you can do to get the look of luxury without having to spend such exorbitant prices. And anyway, I um, also love to brag about the deals that I might get or make something really cheap look fancy. If you're to this part of the video, guys, thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for the tag from K2Mitsi and Danny O. I'm going to link their videos down below. My name is Michelle. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a positive comment if you like this type of content. It really does help to grow my channel. Thank you to everyone who has been growing my channel with me thus far. Love you guys. Bye.